I start my day early with a cup of coffee and looking back on what I did the days before. As I've gotten older, the enormity of painting as an area of activity has grown and grown. It's a way of communication that I do art. Art gives me that freedom. I don't always know what I'm doing. In fact, I don't attempt to formulate an idea of what the artworks going to be because I don't know life like. I don't know what is going to happen tomorrow. Every night, going back home from my studio, on the way home, I always watch the reflections of the light from the buildings in the river. The reflection of that light is just so gorgeous. I would love to share it. To start a relationship with the artwork, there has to be spark of connection. For a start, you need to be pulled in by the artwork, but you also need to be irritated, detailed, 
detained, troubled, and above all, kept curious and interested by the artwork. Everyone knows there are two sides to our brain. There is this battle goes on when you are creating between letting go and letting an accident comes in, letting the whole thing turn on its head and taking a big risk. And then the part of you that exercises a need for control and balance and order. And these two sides have to sort of come to some sort of rapport or agreement if they can in the end. The only rule in art is not to have any, really. I think art is more than just uh, producing an object. It's communication. If you are not true to it, if you misrepresent what you are really feeling, if you try and fake it, it leaves you feeling very dissatisfied. Try not to become a man of success, rather become a man of value. To get the full value of joy, you must have someone to divide it with. I've been through so many things in my life. So it's a time for me to enjoy it the way I enjoy my cup of coffee in the morning. Because life is just too short. It is a flash of firefly in the night. <laughs> 